Hello everyone, this is Stone from Accelerate and in this episode we're going to go for a deep dive into data validation in Excel. So we've all been there, we made this cool and crisp spreadsheet that is absolute perfection nice. and uh, we send it to a user or a colleague and uh, they do their magic with it and if you get that spreadsheet back then you go through it, you see these NA errors or ref errors or and at the end of the day you're just feeling like this yeah. so I'm here to help you guys with this and to make sure with data validation so that you don't lose time by uh, correcting your cool and crisp spreadsheet so I'm here to save time and uh, we stay tuned If you find me for the very first time, be sure to hit that little subscribe button. It's just here in the corner, it takes you one second and you'll stay up to date with all the videos that are being posted from the pleb of Excel, this guy. Alright guys, so data validation. This is quite a unique trick in Excel. So I'm going to start off from scratch here in my spreadsheet. I'm quickly going to just add my view here and uh, you will see data validation here in your top ribbon here uh, data and you'll see data validation here on the right hand side so this is a perfect tool whereby we can uh, make users uh, uh, once they input uh, any information into a cell that we can uh, make it a list or a date or a time and make sure that whatever goes into the spreadsheet is indeed what was intended to go in so let's start off uh, from scratch we're firstly going to start here in sheet one we're just going to create let's say for argument's sake we're running a, a consulting business and we've got three consultants that's working on an hourly basis with different rates and we would like to build a type of invoice that we can uh, send to the user and uh, let's uh, try that one out and see if it works for us. So the very first tab is the rate sheet. So we've got rates. So in uh, let's say B2 we're going to start off with our consultant. So this is the consultant and the rate, their hourly rate. Easy enough. So what we're going to do is just call our consultant uh, guy one I'm just going to drag this little down so it should become guy one, two and three. And let's say the first guy works for 500 rand an hour, the second guy 600 rand an hour and the third guy 700 rand an hour. All right, quite basic currently. So what I would like you to do is convert this rate sheet into a type of table. So you highlight B2 to C5, you hit Control and T and uh, you just hit OK and this converts it into a table So we're going to call this here in the in design it shows table 1 we're just going to create that and change that to rate sheet here we go you hit enter and that's our first step into data validation so what's next is we're going to build our little uh, table here for the invoice so this is our invoice I'm going to just zoom in a little bit for us and uh, we're going to start off with a date whereby the consultant comes in they do their work for a certain time so we also need to know the consultant name now consultant that helped the consultant name and it will obviously show the time spent so time let's say in for clocked in time we're going to get a time out clocked out and we're going to get the actual time that has been worked so let's say time worked and at the end of the day there's going to be a rate calculated and then obviously there's a at the end of the day there's an amount that's going to be paid over to the consulting business okay so quite straightforward and uh, and let's get into this one now so i would like you to highlight b2 into h3 and we're going to also create a table so we're going to say control t going to say okay and this obviously creates our table uh, apologies uh, we're just going to hit undo once and i'm going to hit control t once again i'm just going to say my table has headers you need to make sure that's ticked on and you say okay so it creates those headers there and 
it's go. So first of all, in B3, this always needs to be a date. So if I put in a one or a two or whatever, it needs to block me. It just needs to block me because I need a data validation that ensures that only dates go into this space. So I'm just going to delete that and uh, I'm going to go here in B3 and what I'm going to do is I'm going into the data uh, ribbon here, data validation, you just click on it and now instead of any value being allowed in the cell, you're going to click down and you're going to say oh, this is going to be a date it's going to start you it's going to ask you for a start and an end date so this being uh, 2020 let's start off the date with uh, 2022 jan 1 and the end date should be 2022 12 31 for the uh, 31st of december and you say okay so what happens now if you put in a date and you put in now a one as we did previously it shows enter oh, it's going to stop you right there and it's going to ask you to retry or cancel your input how cool is this so it, this ensures that we need to have a date so it's going to show us this is an error here and i would like you to have a date here so uh, let's say the 5th of march and it will effectively uh, take that as a as an input uh, if you don't like this format uh, it's very uh, easy to change it you just highlight column b go to home here in the general tab uh, or the, the, no, uh, the formatting tab, you just go down, you go to more format numbers and you go to uh, custom and let's say I like it as a day day so DD MMM for month and two for year so there we go and you can say uh, four years and you say okay and what it changes it will show 5 March 2022 very interesting so let's test it out if you just uh, if because it's a table it will take the formatting on here so if you put in a f r1 whatever random data and you say okay oh, it's gonna stop you right there because it's a table you don't have to again show excel what needs to go in here because it's a table you drag it down and it will effectively take that whole row in and you need to say okay i'm busy with 2022 i'm busy in march and this was the six and you also enter and it will effectively validate the data that goes in how awesome is this second of all let's create that list so the consultant name who's been working uh, on a project here so in c3 you can highlight c3 we go back to data and we're going to go back to data validation and instead of any value we're going to go with a list so you click on list and it's, as it's asking you for the source where is the source of the list and we luckily we already created the list uh, we can click on this little uh, drop down we can go to our rate sheet and you can highlight from b1 to b5 so this is the free consultants that's working for us and you can just say enter and you can say okay so what happens now is it creates this little nice drop down list whereby you can choose guy one two and three so guy one and being and you can drag it down you can double click it and being a table now you can also have the nice drop down list here guy one or guy two how awesome is this so now if we put in random data here so let's say there was a random name being put in out you say enter it's gonna show you now this uh, data is not relevant to the consultant name you need to retry click on the drop down you're gonna click on the drop down and you're gonna enter the correct person here how awesome is this and then uh, obviously we can go into time as well so time in time out time worked all these columns you can highlight and what effectively is going to happen is we're going to go to data data validation and we're going to say this needs to be a time so there we go we've got time and we've obviously there's going to be a start time so let's say we start at uh, 12 and we end at uh, 23 uh, 5 9 so that's the whole spectrum that can be the hours that can be worked in a day and you're gonna say okay so if you put in random data here it's gonna show you please retry so we're gonna retry and say okay this guy clocked in at 8 o'clock and that's gonna take a time time out is gonna say when did the guy leave in the work so let's say at 4 o'clock 
the left and time worked is going to be a formula it's going to be equals time out less time in so that will effectively show us let us uh, it's a weird format in excel but we can change it here so you highlight uh, column f and we're going to go back to home here in the formatting tab you're going to click down and this is going to be effectively at the time so that will change that back to eight hours uh, you can go back into decimals uh, let's see here oh, it's going to it's going to actually show the whole time up until the second so now you can drag it down and you will see being excel being excel he already dropped down the the list here or the, the the formula which is quite nice and the time in so let's say the next guy clocked in at seven o'clock and uh, he clocked out at let's say 1500 and it's also going to be eight hours so now we're looking at rate as well uh, so the rate we can use a simple vlookup it's going to be equals vlookup open the bracket i'm just going to take away the mouse here open the bracket so we're looking for the consultant's name so that's going to be the consultant name comma we're going to look at the table array so we know the table array is sitting here in the rate sheet so we, we're going to highlight rate sheet it's going to show the table we're going to say the column that we're looking for is the second we need to return the rate to and comma uh, the, it should be false it should be an exact match and you can say enter so uh, how cool is this excel you being very clever uh, already picking up the rate so guy one is 500 rand guy two is 600 rand it's already picking it up and because we had a table it picks up that formula quite nicely so if, you, if this was guy free and we know guy free's rate was 700 it changes automatically guys this is awesome data validation coming in and going into the amount as well so amount is a uh, formula driven as well so we're going to say equals we know the time worked was eight hours here so it's if free multiplied that's shift and eight by the rate and you're going to hit enter but you'll see excel pulling it free but something looks a little bit off because if you worked eight hours eight times 500 that's four thousand so if the amount uh, needs to be multiplied by 24 for 24 hours in the day and that would effectively give us that 4000 that we're looking for as well excel is so smart so it already picked up that we're working with a formula here so let's test it so we want to put in a random data here blah 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 enter it's going to say please guys wait uh, this is not a, a date so we need to put in 2022 march the 7th and that gives us march and it's already picking up formulas as well it shows NAs but because we don't have any information currently here so let's say guy 2 was working it's pulling through the rate correctly so that was that two data validations working for us here and now time in if we put in any random data here it's going to show uh, something not nice here you can just double click and uh, drag it down as well so we have that formula as well so if there's any random data and you say enter it, it shouldn't take it up uh, let's just make sure the data validation double clicks it and put in some random data ah there we go so we need to make sure that we double click and drag down for the table data so the validation works so let's retry and let's say uh, this guy clocked in at 11 o'clock and he only left about let's say three that's two hours work, two hours work times the uh, rate of guy two, 600, that's 1,200, everything checks out. Guys, I really hope you like this quick tutorial in data validation and hopefully uh, inputs uh, won't be affected anymore as much. So guys, I really like you, I really hope you liked it. Remember to hit that little subscribe button and if you really like this content, hit me with that thumbs up and I'll see you for our next video. Cheers guys.